H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys supports 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus. One-time pay, lifetime access to live classes and videos. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For free demo class, visit h2kinfosys.com. A very warm welcome to all of you to the demo, demo webinar of Selenium WebDriver by H2K Infosys. Before we start with the presentation, a brief introduction about H2K Infosys. H2K Infosys is an e-verified business based in Atlanta, Georgia. United States. It provides world-class live online and on-site training on real-time projects. It also helps with job placement and tech support. Our website is www.h2kinfosys.com. H2K Infosys provides IT training in an online mode which facilitates people to learn from any device anywhere in the world. We provide the world best class service in IT training with real-time project work for corporates and individuals. We specialize in IT training for the master students in the US. We also deal with software design, development, quality analyst, manual automation, non-functional testing. We also support IT staff augmentation, job placement assistant, and tech support. This is a presentation about 100% job oriented course on Selenium Web Driver and Java as a programming language. The details of the course are available on this link. We will talk about that shortly. Before we begin further in here, a brief introduction about me. My name is Pallavi and I have around 10 years of experience in the field of software test automation. I have been dealing with online trainings for the past three years. I specialize in providing test automation training on open source technologies like Selenium, Java, Ruby, Cucumber, BDD expertise, Perl, Python, etc. I hold two provisional patents for the development of a test automation framework on open source technologies as well. That's a brief introduction about me. It would be great if you guys can provide your introduction one by one. I can see your name, so anyone can start. I would like to know your professional background, if you have any experience in the field of testing, and if you're already aware of any test automation tool or programming language, it would be great if you can mention that. So anyone can start. Any one of you, please kindly start with your introduction. Rupa, would you like to start? You need to type in your introduction, please. So you're working as a manual tester, great to know that. How many years of experience you have, Rupa? Okay, great. Good to know that. Felix, would you like to go next? Pamela? 
ममता लावण्या जयश्री सुजाता हाय लावण्या ओके सो यू हैव जॉइंड एज अ फ्रेशर आर यू अवेयर ऑफ द मैनुअल टेस्टिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स हाय पमेला वेलकम टू द कोर्स सो यू हैव 7 इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस ओके एज अ मैनुअल टेस्टर ग्रेट हाय सुजाता good to know that you have five years of experience okay so you have experience with databases and java that's good to know lavanya okay so jata good to know that okay hi mamta welcome to the presentation good to know that okay great choice jashri i am sure you are going to reach places good to know that okay so we are kind of done with your guys introduction so i would briefly in here explain why it is important and advantageous at the same time to learn selenium as a test automation tool why knowing test automation brings benefit to your professional growth you need to understand that when you are performing a testing activity i am sure since you all are aware of manual testing as a subject and you guys have worked on it most of you you are aware of the concept that in a manual testing we are going to continuously test the project at hand right so there is a build one release you test it you submit the bugs there are some feature request you get a build two do you test the same features which you tested in build one for build two which were already working do you repeat your test scenarios yes you do repeat your test scenarios what kind of testing is that called it has got a name what is that called when you continuously repeat your test scenarios with every build iteration and you also test the previous features which are already working it has got a name yes you have said it correctly pamela it's called as regression test scenarios now try to imagine that it is a repetitive activity correct and um, human being is asked to do a repetitive activity now as intelligent creatures our minds get blocked when we are into a repetitive activity which is not going to bring any benefit to us as person we are creative people so you are not using your resource effectively for better opportunities but you are asking your resource to perform an activity which is repetitive in nature an ideal candidate for automation now in here comes a question what exactly is automation any answer in here in very simple terms let's not talk about testing automation is something which is going to replace a man by a machine do you all agree great can you give me some uh, common day to day automation examples which you guys see in your home in your office atm washing machine automobile right calculator these are all automation machines which are replacing the manual effort correct so the idea of replacing a man by a machine in testing that is a man a tested by a script is we need to save time we need to save cost and at the same time we want improved quality the tests which are repetitive in nature are ideal candidate of test automation okay these are the ideal candidates for test automation so regression scenarios are ideal candidates for test automation and what is that we achieve when we want to bring automation in testing we want to save cost we want to save time we want to have an improved quality 
the chances of error by a machine in running the same script thousand iteration time is very is like zero as compared to a human being you are asking a human to run thousand time the same steps chances of error are high but for a machine it's not something which we need to even think about okay so something which can be automated should be automated we want our product to reach the market faster we want to save time we want to save cost we want to improve our quality we want to have the effective utilization of resources okay so repetitive activities are not good jobs for a human mind creative activities are indeed great jobs for a human mind so effective utilization of resources is also our concern so these are the needs for which test automation becomes an integral part of a manual testing activity or a testing activity in general please remember 100% test automation is never possible ideally 60 to 70% of the application is testable through automation the rest you have to use your human resources to test so automation is not about replacing your manual testing team it is an addition to the efforts of a manual testing team to have an improved quality experience for everyone for every stakeholder can you explain how we are improving quality sure pamela like i said if you are asking a human being to run the thousand iteration of the test within 2 days do you think that there will be no errors by that person an error in a data a wrong click a wrong report do you think that the consistency of the person with every iteration is going to be the same the speed with every iteration is going to be the same no right but all these issues are not there with a the machine with the script with the programming script at hand you run it 10000 time it doesn't matter it is going to always work okay so that's how we get improved quality because the chances of human error are reduced great now for test automation there are many tools available out there market which broadly are classified as commercial tools and the open source tools i am sure you guys are aware of some of the tools available in the market like uft like rft uft is unified functional test also known as qc in its early qtp in its earlier days rft is by ib um, rft is called as rational functional tester then you have got test complete you have got silk etc in open source you have got selenium you have got water you have got sahi available now reason open source test automation tool are gaining advantage over commercial tool are a most important is the cost if i can get the same feature set the same benefit by paying a zero licensing fee then why shouldn't i get that from small organization to large it joints like yahoo like apple like google they all are using open source technologies to test their product the cost of acquiring a open source test automation tool its licensing cost is zero you don't pay even a penny to any person any company to procure the tool to start testing that's a very big advantage in comparison to a commercial tool where the license cost itself leads in 10000s of dollars okay to procure a uft license or a rft license is highly expensive as compared to getting a license free of cost for selenium the advantage that the commercial tool bring over open source tools are it has got a nice gui there is already a structure available to it and some people can see it as a restriction whereas in open source world there is no structure to it you are free to define your own structure there is flexibility there is a support of large number of programming languages with a tool especially like selenium it can get adapted to your project requirements rather than you getting adapted to the test automation tool with all these things keeping in mind open source test automation tools 
since past have been in popular demand and they will continue being doing so. Out of the open source tools available in the market, Selenium is the most popular test automation tool available. Its popularity is based on its feature set, its rich feature set, which even beat commercial tools. It supports multiple programming language. You want to test in Selenium, you can test using Ruby, Perl, C hash, Java, Python, etc. You can run your test on multiple browsers, whether you want to test on Firefox or IE or Chrome or Safari, Selenium is your tool. It also supports multiple operating systems. Your test can run on Windows, your test can run on Mac, your test can run on the Linux environment. There is support available across languages, browsers and operating system. There is flexibility available to adapt the tool to your project's requirement rather than you adapting to the tool. Selenium, as I have said, is one of the most popular test automation tool in the market. So knowing it increases your job chances exponentially and you have the ability to be that resource whether you want automation to be done or manual to be done. Rather, it is the ideal growth path. It is a perfect course for people who belong to manual testing background and they want to increase their career by learning test automation skills. It's for your managers, leads who want to understand how the open source world of test automation tools behave and implement their in projects. It's for the developers who want to switch from their development and want to make a switch in career to the testing. It's for every one of them. Before we proceed to discuss with what you can expect in the course to happen, do you guys have any questions? Anyone has any question? Will Java be taught as a part of this course? Yes. Java is the most popular cho choice in programming language with Selenium Jayashree. Java would be taught with as a part of this course. Any other question? Seventy percent of Java with Selenium. You want to say that the Selenium is used widely with Java? Yeah, you are correct. As mentioned, the most implementations of Selenium are found using Java programming language, and it is the first choice for that tool. Okay. So if you look at the course structure, the course is broadly classified into three important categories. First, we get our introduction. We basically prepare our foundation where we learn what is Selenium. And then using a intuitive component of Selenium called as Selenium IDE, which, are, which is a record and a playback tool, we learn the concepts of Selenium. We learn how do you locate element in Selenium. We learn about some web technologies. We learn what are the different Selenium commands which are available to us. After we are done with that foundation part, we start our module with knowing Java as a programming language. We start with the very basics of Java, setting the Java Eclipse as an ID into our system. We start with the data types, the conditional and the looping statement. We move on to the advanced Java concepts of files, different data structures like array, hashes, regular expression and object oriented programming. Once that aspect is comfortable to us, we move on to the concept of web driver. So this is around six hours. This is around 12 hours. 
this is uh, around uh, 18 hours where we learn about web driver concepts we start with how you will be writing down your very first script on web driver you learn how to handle the different web elements you learn how to handle advanced web elements web objects like frames alerts new windows etc you learn how to talk to the database we are going to talk about both the test ng and the unit j unit as test automation framework we are going to talk about what exactly are frameworks how do you create your own test automation framework which we will be learning through the demo of hybrid and a keyword driven test automation framework of which the code would also be shared with you how can a non it learn selenium having said that how can a non it learn selenium jayshree uh you need to understand that while creating a project structure while working on a project there are some people in the team who are business analyst right they have got very specific domain knowledge so nowadays in nowadays pro product development or software development it's an all inclusive policy people don't want stakeholders with expert knowledge to be left behind just because they are not aware of certain tool set or certain skill set so having said that this course is created keeping in mind that you have got knowledge of basic manual testing concepts you understand the jargons test case bugs regression besides this there is no expectation so even if you come from a non it background which some manual testers do come from they eventually become good domain experts as well you can definitely do this course okay great so that's how the course is divided into 36 hours where we spend certain hours in each of these modules the course through hkk infosys is available to you in the online mode which helps and facilitates you to learn from the comforts of your own home or office it's a live session with an experienced instructor it's not a recorded session which you will be listening to it's a live session interactive session and you can join to this session from anywhere in this world after the session gets completed the materials used in session presentation notes exercises even the recording of the session is made available to you so that you can later refer to it in case you have missed the class you can go and look at the recording for that day and learn at your own pace throughout the course a real time web application is used with real time examples which you will also face on your on site job so this course is this course has got a reality check where real time example and real time application is used to learn the concepts at the end of the session practice assignments are given to you guys and later the solutions are also shared we also facilitate with interview preparation and resume guidance and active placements an active help for placements is as well as available throughout the course there is active support available your questions will always be answered in a given span of time and we ensure to take you along with the course nobody is left behind we have got a very dedicated support team available for the course if you guys have any questions about this course please feel free to ask me how many hours has been dedicated to mock interview and preparation that included in these 36 hours pamela the mock interviews and preparation are done as separate sessions with the participants of the course in these 36 hours we basically learn the concepts and in the end of the session we talk about interview preparation and resume guidance using the concepts learned in there 
you are then invited to separate sessions for mock interviews and preparations there are separate dedicated sessions being given to you but that was a good question thank you for bringing that up after the course will you be able to work on a project yes throughout the course we are going to use a real time web application um for the classes so you you can definitely go on using that so basically the concepts of web drivers are explained to you through programming scripts which are created over a real time application which domain are you planning to work on for our practice pamela we take a very generic domain now that's not a little early to ask that's a good question i would say we take a very generic domain of e-commerce which everybody understands so we'll be taking an e-commerce application which uh, so the real time application is based on a e-commerce domain we can say that we know selenium and will be able to apply for the jobs yes definitely why not mamta knowing selenium knowing a test automation definitely increases your chances for jobs it increases your career growth and you are definitely available you have definitely made made yourself available to a wider job market so when we talk about resume guidance we will talk about how to prepare your resumes in such a manner that people look at your resume and would like to call you up for an interview are we going to work on real time project yes like i explained throughout the course we are going to take a real time web application which is functional and you are going to use it end to end throughout the course scope of a fresher in this market well lavanya you need to understand that every experienced person was once a fresher there is always going to be a scope for a fresher in the market otherwise the market won't survive though it might be a little difficult to get a job but once you get your very first job life becomes pretty smooth after that will you get any certification so that you can put in your resume i um i need to check that up i think you are going to get a certification from hq infosys but i will uh, share that question mamta so that complete answer can be given to you uh okay so i have received the answer yes you will be given a course completion certificate at the end of the course it will be given to you given to all of you how important is selenium ide testing as per your understanding it is just record and play you are correct in saying that pamela it is just a tool for record and play back that's why we dedicate very less amount of time on selenium ide but people coming from manual testing background or from fresher background find learning selenium easy as we move through the introduction of selenium ide the learning is faster and easier rather than having directly a look at a java programming language so foundation of selenium is easily formed through selenium ide then directly talking to you about a programming language and web driver okay because too many unknowns doesn't help a person in learning yeah correct to find locator because the concept of locator 
in general general terms you need to understand that when you are testing a web application you are testing a web page a web page is composed of different web elements like text boxes links tables frames you need to understand the tool needs to understand how to identify that object on the page and work upon it for example let's say you have a class of students every student has got a roll number correct your teacher knows you by your roll number so with the help of that they are able to identify the student they are interested in talking to and they call them by the roll number speak to them and the work is done similarly the tool selenium is interested in working on a particular object on that web page how do you help selenium identify that object is through the locators concept which is an extremely important concept in selenium and best understood through selenium ide thanks for the question pamela do we have a test end of the project so that we will know uh, okay i'll uh, help you understand mamta so basically let's say you have got a web application available to you let's say we have google although we are not going to use google if you look at google there are some scenarios available which you can test the application with correct can you think about some scenarios to test the google web page so if you look at the google web page some functionalities are search i am feeling lucky right then obviously if you have signed in to google you have to sign in through all google applications so 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 many scenarios like that can be identified correct now there are some concepts of test automation example how do you pick data from external data source how do you synchronize your application with the test automation tool how would you handle dynamic objects how would you talk to the database how would you generate reports for presentation to your management so so many house of test automation and so many scenarios of your web application are create built or synced in together throughout this course to help you understand test automation with selenium on a real time web application so there is no test end to this project we learn different concepts of selenium test automation with real time examples on our web application which is an e-commerce application will you be able to use the same concept of workplace yes definitely the all the examples taken are real time examples great Yeah, please go ahead. When you record a script, will it be generated? Yes. When you record steps in your IDE, they get available to you for playback. Yes, they do get generated. once after learning will you be able to write the script without recording yes rather i would strongly advise you against using selenium ide beyond selenium ide class i will be stressing on the point of not relying on selenium ide at all and learning to write the scripts will the classes be available on weekdays or weekends uh Jayshree will be forming different batches classes will be available both on weekdays and weekends
यू वेलकम ममता आई वुड लाइक टू एड अ पॉइंट इन हियर श्योर जय श्री नो प्रॉब्लम I hope some of you know cycling or driving or swimming, right? Either of those skills, or let's say cooking. You guys must be knowing one of the four, correct? You need to understand that before you knew any of those skill set, there was always a concern how well we'll be able to learn them. But once you learn them, it's for your life, right? You don't forget how to swim. You don't forget how to drive. You don't forget how to cycle. Similarly, programming is there. There's an initial fear in the mind of every non-programmer: how will they learn programming? But once you get over that fear, and you sit and get your hands dirty to learn programming, you are never going to forget it. Okay. So. Uh, get out of that zone make yourself a little uncomfortable to learn something new because that's the way it is anyone has any other question anyone of you has any other question can we install selenium yes you can we will be installing selenium different components onto our system to work with it you will be installing all the components i am going to talk about in class you will be given all the exercises which we do in the class so that you can make it work on our system you will be given practice question on the topics discussed so that you can practice on your spare time and build your foundation strong on those concepts later solution for those assignments will be shared so that you guys can validate when are the new batches starting uh, sujatha we are still confirming on the date uh, it will be shared with you soon how okay what would be the depth of advanced java there is no depth to advanced java pamela you need to understand that java is a vast programming language extremely vast it has got its application from your normal variable device to the super computers to the gaming to anywhere you can imagine but we are going to learn enough java so that we can sit down and write our test automation scripts using the selenium web driver component if you do not understand every time can we attend the next class too since we are completely new to automation you are asking if you do not understand the test automation classes in the one batch can you join the another batch c as i mentioned every session is recorded and the recording of that session will be shared with you guys if you are unable to understand the concept discussed that day first of all you are free to ask as many questions as you want to secondly if it helps you to listen to the session at your own pace because sometimes you are just you know simply out of the sync with the others in the class you will be given the recording and you can go through your recording at your own pace and understand it you can always send your questions through email to our email id and we will be answering it so if you don't understand it through the example shared you let us know we will change the example we'll try some another analogy we will try to rephrase and help our 
and do our best to help you understand. What is enough for Selenium? Is it just limited to loops? Sorry, Pamela, I don't get your question. If you can kind of rephrase it, please. In what depth will you be learning Java in terms of using it with Selenium? See, in Java, the topics which you will be learning is we are going to learn the different data types in Java, loops, conditional statement. We are going to learn complex data elements, array and hashes, reading a file, regular expression, object-oriented programming, how to talk to a database. Like I said, we are going to learn enough Java to do and write test automation scripts with Selenium WebDriver. It's just not loops we are going to learn in Java. Okay, great. Anyone has any other question? So next two days we will be learning ID or what it for three sessions. Okay. So the co day wise uh, course breakdown will be hosted very soon, Pamela, on the website. We would be, so it's like a week by course which we do. Every week there are going to be three sessions. Okay. So in the first week we learn Selenium IDE. So we start with first learning why test automation, why Selenium. We learn about the different Selenium components, differences between them. We then learn Selenium IDE concepts. We learn the concepts of locators through IDE. We learn about Selenium commands and we practice them. So it takes around a week because there are others, there are some significant amount of a significant number of students in the session. And we need to understand it's an online mode of learning. So the learning is uh, uh, compared to your class learning. The online learning is a little bit tricky because I as an instructor uh, cannot judge you by your body language or by your faces. I am relying on your word back to me. So we, we move at a certain speed so that everybody can move along with us. Is there any reading material so that you can be prepared for the class? Uh, well, uh, there is no reading material as such available, Mamta. Uh, there are no preparations needed. But if you are interested, you can start reading about Selenium in general from here. There is no preparation or any reading material required before the class. Sure, Pamela.
so an overall structure of the course is available on the link so if you go to the syllabus part here you have got information on how different sessions are planned okay you can uh, have a look at it here any other question okay thanks mamta anyone has any other question Okay, great. Then I would like to thank you all for your time today. I hope to see you guys in class. Wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye.